This is basketball country, and this morning, one Johnson County grandfather is heartbroken. He can't coach his grandchildren on the game that he loves because his vision was damaged following what some would say is a routine eye exam. This is a story you will only see on RTV6. Alan Zimmerman sees good health as a key to a good life. But everything changed forever after an eye checkup. I just trusted their uh, decisions, their guidance, and uh, uh, it was wrong that I found out the hard way. Back in March 2016, Alan went to Ossip in Greenwood, complaining about blurriness in his right eye among several symptoms. He had appointments, one on March the 22nd, the other on March the 25th of 2016. On those days, he was seen by two separate doctors at the same location. Allen says his doctors failed to diagnose a retinal detachment in his right eye because they did not dilate his eyes and instead depended on a machine during the checkup. The result, Allen has permanent vision loss in his right eye. I've had to alter everything that I've done all my life, and I'm 65, um, in order to try to accommodate for something that is, is I'm never going to get it back. One of the biggest setbacks, he can no longer coach his grandchildren on how to accurately shoot a basketball, a sport he loves. is blurry. Um, it's, uh, I can't see to the right as well as I used to, uh, even shooting things straight ahead, um, pretty much need both eyes to be working the same, uh, together, um, you know, shoot a basketball with one eye shut. In 2018, the veteran filed a complaint with the medical review panel. In 2019, three separate doctors looked over the case. So between October and December of 2019, doctors from Bloomington, Muncie, and Newcastle separately put in writing that based on the evidence, Ossip doctors failed to comply with the appropriate standard of care. The treatment that Alan should have received uh, should be optometry 101. This should be a routine thing. The automatic response is to perform a dilated eye exam, and that checks the retina. Um, that was not done. Alan never envisioned being in this legal fight, but he says he plans to see it through the end. Allen has filed a lawsuit against Ossip and the doctors involved. He's encouraging everyone to stay on top of their medical exams. And if there's ever a doubt, he says, please, please get a second opinion. We reached out to the lawyers for Ossip and the doctors, Mary Beth Worley and Amanda Dinninger. We received this statement here at RTV6. We cannot comment because this matter is an active litigation.